up, what's up? Welcome back. It's me, your homegirl, Adosha Wright. Um, it's my YouTube channel. I'm the author of Curly Hair Adventures, the Beauty and Barber Survival Plan, and What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon. And we are going to finish up Sherry's hairstyle. So I'm going to go ahead on and press these edges out because she does not have a um, relaxer. So I'm going to just go ahead on and smooth the edges out pretty good. Can you hold your ear? Now, um, I'm still old school, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we're gonna smooth the edges out just so they can blend. I am using the any um, straightening comb that you can find on Amazon. I will put the link to the description. Now, Sherry um, has really soft hair, as you can see. Her hairline, um, like I said, that's a little bit. Um, she has a, we have psoriasis. Yes. So she has a little skin disorder there, so her hairline um, is a little bit finer. So I'm going to press everything out to make sure her hair has a nice blend. Um, I like the anti-straightening comb. It's not straight up cast iron, so it does have some, I think, some aluminum and some nickel in it. It's kind of hard to find uh, just straight cast iron straightening combs like they used to have back in the day, but if you can find one, go right ahead. Um, this one retailed for about, I think it was like 10, $15. It really wasn't too lofty, but it does the job pretty good. Um, and so, which I just mostly primarily press the edges. I do have some old school people who like, nah, boo, I don't want the flat iron. I want you to take that rag and press my hair. And it does a really good job on that as well. So her hair is all prepped out, and I just want you guys to see the finished result. Also, to show you how quick it takes to really style someone's hair. So she says she wants this deep set part. You said on the right, didn't you? Right. Okay, you, this typical hairstyle is gonna make it your mommy, okay? So I'm gonna flip that part back over. Ta-da! Do you guys hit the heart button? Don't you like Sherry's spice? Isn't that cute? Okay, so Sherry says spice me up today. You know who says spicy? <laughs> oh, he says pricey. Um, Nas, have you guys heard Nas's new CD? Um, and I know it's, well, it's been out for a minute, okay? It's called King's Disease, it's pretty good. All right, sure, sure. So put me on a 15 minute timer. So it's two minutes and 34 seconds into the video. It's me, your homegirl, again, LaDosha Wright. I am the hairstylist who tells you everything that they don't tell you at the hair salon. I will, and that's for both the consumer and the hairstylist, okay? So Sherry's gonna put me on a 15 minute timer and I'm going to show you how you can rock a hairstyle in 15 minutes. Now we're not talking about spirals and dip, dip, dash, so, so, shala. We're talking about a good old fashioned flat arm bob. Now she does not need 450 degrees of heat. I am using a H2 Pro flat arm. I love H2 Pro. Again, there are a plethora of them out there, but I like H2 Pro because you can style and you can um, just simply flat iron the hair. Some flat arms you can only flat iron, you can't style, but I like to get it all out the way. So Sherry has me in 15 minutes. So in theory, I'm like 10 back here, three here, three here. So give or take, all right? I also have a holster on my hip to help this go by faster, or you can keep your cart close so that you're not moving too fast or on your countertop, all right? So this one is for the hairstylist, okay? Tilt your head forward, and I'm going to use some resistance. Now remember, I know how to execute this situation because she's told me how she wants her hair. I know what I'm doing. So some of the stylists make some mistakes because they don't know what they're doing. If you know what you're doing, you can execute the plan. Some hairstylists, they're working in your couture or your um, high end or your session stylist. You know, so a session stylist are people that you pay by the hour and for the session, you can get whatever you want to get. And it's pretty much just you, the stylist and their assistant. And then you have your traditional salons where people are working solo or they may have an assistant. So whatever the skill set is, um, it's gonna determine how much time they will or will not take. Now, I can work in any capacity. 
except the runway, okay? Because I don't like that kind of environment. Not because I don't like that environment, because I am not a good hairstylist, okay? But I am a great hair care person, so I don't really do great designs and all that, but I'm really good at hair care. So people who come to me, they're not looking for that. I don't do that. So if you look at my images, they're pretty much the same because my people, you know, they just like, just bought me up, send me home, okay? So I already know what she wants, all right? So because I know what she wants and I have the skill set, I can execute the plan. So one of the things that I'm doing to execute the plan, if you notice is, I'm not putting down the flat arm. Putting down the flat arm, will, you'll spend more time reaching than you will working, okay? Number two, the haircut. If the haircut is not good, then the hairstyle will not perform. So if you're providing haircutting services, or if you're working with a barber or another hairstylist on the cut, make sure you all are on the same page about how often to get the hair cut. If they don't get their hair cut, then just smooth it out and be done with it. I do have a lot of customers whose hair I do not cut because they don't want it cut. Makes me no difference, you know what I'm saying? So it's up to them. As long as you're keeping the head on your hair, it's up to you. So I'm not one of those hairstylists who likes to push haircuts. But in this instance, she wants a bob, so we've got to keep this cut up nice and neat, okay? So again, I'm just executing the plan here, and I'm not making her sections too thick or too thin, because if I make them too thin, then I will tear out her hair. If I make them too thick, then her hair might straighten out, but what will happen is when she goes home, it will revert. So a lot of times when the hairstyle collapses, and a lot of times it's on the stylist, it's rarely the customer. Now, if she goes out into the rain, if she takes a shower, she puts on a shower cap, if she doesn't wrap this up at night, now she does have some responsibility, but she should not walk out and this hairstyle collapse by the time she gets home or goes to the grocery store, it shouldn't be that way. But if her ends aren't shaped up and all that, well, yeah, no, it's negotiable. But again, it's the job of the stylist to use that consultation time to explain to the customer exactly what it's gonna take to make the hair look nice and stay healthy. Okay, how much time do I have now? She's been smelling the hairspray, guys. <laughs> She's been smelling the hairspray. Oh She's gonna let us know how I'm doing on my 9.50. I have nine minutes and 50 seconds to go? Yes. So nine minutes and 50 seconds. And you guys, again, you see? Now, Sherry's hair is very healthy. So I know what some of you are saying, not my client. Her hair would not never straighten out like that. And she wouldn't hold her. Now remember, Sherry and I, we have an agreement. See how she's sitting up straight? See how I'm holding my fatness in, okay? My diaphragm, I'm up, I'm standing. I have all my tools ready, I'm not reaching. I am recording a video, but that's no excuse that this should take any longer. Just because I'm doing a video does not mean that this should take me 45 minutes to do her hair. That's unacceptable, okay? So here we go again. So I have this executed. So to all of you cosmetologists out here, people who are interested in doing this as a profession, I think it's really important that we understand what we're getting off into before we get started. Some people, you know, are like, it's all about me. Uh, it just takes me that long. Come on, guys. A Porsche isn't a Porsche for a reason. Is it named a Porsche? A Mercedes isn't a Mercedes for no reason because it's named Mercedes. You know why those products, uh, you can recognize their name? It's because of what? Their performance, their, their credibility, their history. And what is their history known for? Speed, style, you know, technology, all that justifies the cost 
of those fancy cars. Um, if you're not in the cars, let's try liquor. Why does Patron, why is uh, Absolute Vodka cheaper than uh, Ciroc or something like that? That's not to say one is better. We're just talking about how it's marketed and so on and so forth. And in some instances, what makes it better? It depends on how you want to be as a drunk. You know, me, I like a little cheap French drunk, so I'm going to drink some cheap Ciroc or some uh, Tito, you see what I'm saying? So it varies, or you can just go ahead and rock some kettle wine. So all of it, it, you know, as a stylist, you know, it just depends on, you know, how you want that customer to arrive. Do you want your customer to arrive like a Porsche finish or uh, a BMW finish? Or do you want your customer to arrive like a, um, a Malibu, you know, something like that, or a Hoopty? So I want Sherry to have like a Lamborghini, Porsche, you know, uh, Rolls Royce kind of an experience. So we want style, we want performance, we want speed, we want all of that. And I don't want to say to her, well, I'm doing this YouTube video, so it's gonna take me about two hours to flat on your hair or 30 minutes. It can't, it can't take me that long. So I've done some things to invest to help this work out. So one, I've learned how to flat iron hair. I've gotten tools. I've learned about standing properly. Um, I've learned about a good haircut. I also uh, know about the positioning of where to place my products, my tools so that I can work faster. See how she grabbed her ear, okay? Well, y'all y'all can't see her, you know, but she grabbed her ear, okay? All right, Sherry, how much time do I have left now? So six minutes, Dougie, okay? Six minutes, Dougie, and we are on. So as you can see, I have all of this executed. Her hair is in great condition because I sell her the products that she needs. Now, she doesn't buy everything right here, care products, but I do give her recommendations. I tell her what's good, what's not so good. Um, I let her know everything that I'm using on her hair to protect her investment, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what I do, and that way I can execute this hairstyle, and it does not have to take me all day. You want your edges slayed or not? Mm -hmm. So no slay edges for sure, sure. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring the camera closer so you guys can see. Let me bring it down. Hold on. Don't y'all hit the dislike button. Uh, uh -oh, let me see. This hair. Okay, there she's coming down. Whoop, there she is. All right. So how many minutes was that, Sharsha? Six minutes. So basically, it took me about, what, nine minutes? You did. You started in 15. Yeah. Yeah. So it was nine minutes to complete this style. So there she is, the most beautiful girl in the world, with beautiful hair. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. All right, so here we go. All right, so there's Sherry hair here, and as promised, we got the spice up in the front, lower in the back. She has some previous highlights that gave her a little pop, and then that's her red violet. Um, and you can see just how nice that turned out. She's got a nice cut. And you can hit that heart button if you like the simplicity and the ease. It just really doesn't take that long to look really beautiful because everybody's naturally beautiful. You know, in the hair salon, we don't see things and people as like ugly because <laughs> it's a beauty salon, you know what I'm saying? So um, this hair is very beautiful, very healthy. Now you know that you can actually do this in like 10, 15 minutes. It does not take long. And that's a real live hairstyle. She can go home, wrap it, duplicate it, whatever she wants to do, or just let it fall like mine. Do whatever she wants, all right? Okay, it's pouring down outside, all right, guys? So uh, thank you so much. Don't forget to share the video, be inspired, subscribe to the channel, all that cool stuff. Um, I, again, I'm LaDosha Wright. Um, peace, love, and hair. And if you ain't got no hair, don't want no hair, can't grow no hair, can't stand hair, just rub your beautiful, beautiful ball hair. All right, thanks, guys. I hope you like the video. <laughs> Look at Sherry's hair.
Somebody be on my page like, make sure you finish your style from now on. 